Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of trigonometry. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that set S consists of the values of X which belong to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. And the equation that is given to us here is 9 raised to 1 minus tan square X plus 9 raised to tan square x is equal to 10. So this is your set S and they have also given us beta is summation of x belongs to all the values of set S with tan square x by 3. And they have asked us to find the value of 1 by 6 beta minus 14 the whole square. So let's figure out the value of this entire expression. So let's solve this. So what I get from this understanding here is the options that are given to us here is 16, 32, 8 and the last option given to us is 64. So these are the four options given and if I talk about the equations is given to us here, the equations as 9 raised to 1 minus tan square x plus 9 raised to tan square x, it is equal to 10. So if I solve this further, I get 9 raised to 1 upon 9 raised to tan square x plus 9 raised to tan square x is equal to 10. So if I substitute here, I understand this 9 raised to tan square x is same in both the cases. So if I substitute 9 raised to tan square x as let's say a, I get my entire expression changed to become 9 by a plus a is equal to 10. If I solve this quadratic further, I get 9 plus a square is equal to 10. If I solve this further, I get a square minus 10a plus 9 is equal to 0. So if I solve this quadratic equation by splitting the middle term, I can split that as minus 9a minus 1a plus 9 is equal to 0. Splitting this, I get a common a minus 9 minus 1 a minus 9 is equal to 0. So you get this entire expression as a minus 9 a minus 1 is equal to 0. If I differentiate this, I get the two values of a, 1 is 9, 1 is 1. So I get two values of a that is 9 and 1. If I re-substitute a as 9 raised to tan square x, I get the value here as 9 raised to tan square x equal to 9. The other as 9 raised to tan square x equal to 1. So that makes it 9 raised to tan square x equal to 9 raised to 1. So tan square x equal to 1. Solving that, I get tan x as plus 1 or minus 1. Here I can write that as 9 raised to tan square x. 1 is nothing but 9 raised to 0. So I get tan square x equal to 0. Taking square root on both sides, I get tan x equal to 0. So from this, I get three values of tan x. That is minus 1, 0 and 1. And if I find the angle, I have been told that x belongs to, this is 0. This is pi by 2 on the anti-clockwise direction and in clockwise direction, this is minus pi by 2. So x which is told to us, it belongs to angles between this region. So I understand x can hold the values of minus pi by 4. That is at minus 45, it turns minus 1. Then it can also hold 0 because tan of 0 is 0 and 1 occurs at pi by 4. So I get three values of x that satisfies this expression. Now let's find out. We have been told beta is summation of x belongs to all the values of s tan square x by 3. So if I find the sum of all tan square x by 3, I get it as tan square. x in the first case, it is minus pi by 4. So minus pi by 4 by 3. So minus pi by 12 plus tan square 0 if I put it as 0 and here I get tan square 
by by the so if i find that out in the form of the measure of angles in degrees i get that as tan square minus pi by 12 into 180 by pi so minus 15 degrees plus tan square of 0 that is 0 and tan square at 15 degrees so what i understand is tan at minus 15 is same as tan at 15 so this is 0 already we know this is tan square 15 or i can write that as tan of minus 15 degrees the whole square. Here also I can write that as tan of 15 degrees the whole square. Now we know tan at minus 15 and tan at 15 degrees is same in magnitude, but the signs are different. So tan of minus 15 is negative, but we are squaring it at the end. So it is also positive with the same magnitude. So you get beta toning out to become two times tan 15 degrees the whole square. So let's figure out the value of this now. I can write tan 15 as tan of 60 minus 45, the whole square. So tan of A minus B, that is tan A minus tan B upon 1 plus tan A tan B. This is whole square. So you get two times. This becomes root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1 the whole square. So if I solve this further, internally if I try to solve this, rationalizing root 3 plus 1. And here also if I rationalize with root 3, sorry, instead of rationalizing, we need to multiply with the conjugate of denominator. So it becomes root 3 minus 1 and this becomes root 3. So you get this as beta turning out to become two times root three minus one the whole square. Denominator turns out to become a plus b a minus b so a square minus b square three minus one the whole square. So beta turns out two times root three minus one the whole square. If I expand it, I get a square so three minus two ab plus b square. So b square is one upon 2. So you get this as beta turning out to become 2 times. 3 plus 1 that is 4. 4 minus 2 root 3. So if I take 2 common I get 2 minus 3 upon 2 the whole square. So basically this 2 minus root 3 gets cancelled. So 2 gets cancelled you are left with 2 minus root 3. So if you can remember you can just remember this because that is used very frequently in trigonometry that tan 15 is 2 minus root 3. So you can directly use that idea. So you get this as 2 minus root 3. Now if I solve this further squaring it, I get a minus b the whole square again. So a square that is 4 minus 2 ab so 4 root 3 plus b square that is 3. So you get 2 7 minus 4 root so you get that as 14 minus 8. That is your value of beta. Now let's just find what they have asked for. They have asked us to find the value of this expression to be 1 by 6 beta minus 14 the whole square. So if I find that out, 1 by 6 beta minus 14 the whole square. So 1 by 6 beta we already know now. 14 minus 8 root 3 minus 14 the whole square. So 14 and 14 gets cancelled. Now you get minus 8 to 3 the whole square. Square of 8 is 64. Square of root 3 is 3. So you get this expression cancelled. 3 1s are 3 2s are 2 1s are 2 32. So you get the answer turning out to become 32. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of using the ideas of trigonometry here. So we just substituted 9 raised to tan square x as 8. We got a quadratic equation. We solved that quadratic equation. 
So we got two values of a nine and one. We compared that with we substituting a as nine raised to tan square x. We got the three values of tan x minus one zero one. For x between minus pi by two to plus pi by two, we got the values of x as minus pi by four, zero and pi by. 2. With that, we found beta, which is sum of tan square x by three for all values of x that belong to this set is that was minus pi by four, zero and pi by four. So we found the sum of tan square for all the three of them. Tan square zero is zero. Tan of minus fifteen and tan of fifteen have the same magnitude. The only change was this is positive and this is negative. But after squaring them, both of them become positive. So I just took that as two times of tan fifteen the whole square. Then we just figured out the value of tan fifteen that was two minus root three. So if you can directly remember, it is better to remember tan fifteen as two minus root three. Otherwise, you can also figure out this value by using this idea of tan of b minus b. So I solved that and I got beta turning out to be the fourteen minus eight two. Once I got the value of beta fourteen minus eight two three, I just figured out and put that in the value of the expression for which we have to find the value. And that comes out to become thirty two, and that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to use the ideas of trigonometry in this question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on eleven, twelve, as well as J double mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWT, so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.